now joining us is Courtney Garcia, Senior Wealth Advisor at Payne Capital Management. Courtney, great to see you. Thanks for having me. What do you make of the bounce today? Yeah, I think the big question investors have to ask themselves right now is, are we heading into recession? Is that why the markets have been selling off? And is that ending? Is that why the markets are up today? Now, I think ultimately, um, the odds of recession have definitely increased, but realistically, I think it's possible that we can get through this period of high inflation without going into a recession in the next couple of months. And as an investor, I think what you want to look at is if you're of the mindset we can get through this, um, then you can start to look at some of these as buying opportunities. I wouldn't say you want to go jump in with two feet here. I don't think we've seen the kind of volume or the kind of volatility that we call a bottom here, but there's definitely some opportunities to be had. Um, if you're of the mindset that we are in a pending recession, you might want to wait a little longer, but I really think there's some, some value here to be had and, and we can very well get through this. You like small caps because you are not fully convinced that we are going to hit, hit a recession. Correct. Yeah, that's one of those plays. Yeah, that I think if you're of the mindset that we can get through this, small caps are really well valued right now, and their earnings growth expectations are really attractive. They're actually expected to grow about 20% year over year when you look at 2023. So it's it's one of those plays that probably get harder if we are in going to recession. Again, I'm pretty optimistic here. I think you can start to scoop up some of these shares at really attractive valuations. And you also like energy, and, and this is your final trade on Friday on Fast Money, Exxon Mobil. What specifically about Exxon do you like? Yeah, the energy sector, I think, has gotten overly sold here um, just over the last week. But ultimately, the supply demand issues are not going away. And what I really like about Exxon is they have a really strong balance sheet here. They have a lot of cash on their books. Even if energy doesn't stay as high, the energy prices don't stay as high as they are, they're really in a good position to be able to weather through this. But in all likelihood, energy prices are going to continue to move higher, which will likely continue to benefit Exxon. So I think that's a really good opportunity as well. Are you making any moves in any portfolios today, Courtney? Um, anybody who has cash on the sidelines, we're starting a dollar cost hour dead in. Again, I'm not jumping in with two feet, but I, I think this is one of those scenarios where you're not going to get good prices with good news. And so I think you want to start to take advantage of these opportunities, because if we do start to see over the next few few weeks, any inclination that inflation might be um, peaking, maybe it's coming down a bit as some of these supply chain issues come down, that can really boost the markets here. So just taking advantage while things are low, I think is something you want to really be looking at. Corey, good to see you. Thank you. Courtney Garcia, Pain Capital.